Good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Tom Spillman, and I'm the president of the Wholesale Beer Distributors of Texas. We are so proud to have this virtual, this to have you here virtually to ensure the safety of all of our respective staffs. We have with us today Val Lamantia of LNF Distributing in McAllen, Dr. Emily Williams Knight, President and CEO of the Texas Restaurant Association and Education Foundation, and Joe Monastero, Chief Strategist and Operations Officer, also with TRA. The Texas Restaurant Association recently established the Texas Restaurant Relief Fund Initiative which is working to provide immediate financial support to the independent Texas restaurateurs and their employees. In light of the current state of the world and more specifically Texas, our industry wanted to come together and find a way to help each other during this very difficult time. It is more important now than ever before to support our fellow industry partners. And that is why we are here today. The Wholesale Beer Distributors of Texas is the trade association representing beer distributors statewide since 1939. The WBDT and its member companies have a long history of making charitable donations in times of need throughout Texas. Emily and Joe, without further ado, it is my honor to represent the Wholesale Beer Distributors of Texas. And on behalf of our membership and their 14,000 employees, it is my pleasure to present you with this check for $10,000 to support the recovery efforts of your independent restaurants and their employees. Thank so you back, so much. Thank you, Tom. Absolutely. We're glad, we're glad to be, be partners with you and your restaurants and your employees. And, uh, but wait, there's more. Val, I think you have a little something for Emily and Joe as well and take it away. I do. It's my honor to present this $50,000 check to the Texas Restaurant Relief Fund. WBDT and its members came together a couple years ago and created the Independent Beer Wholesalers Fund for times just like these. With the current state of the industry we serve, everyone is in need, especially our on-premise restaurant partners. We believe in what you do and are committed to help you see this through. We are honored to be part of this great program that will help all of our industrial partners statewide. We will come out of this even stronger and more unified industry. So with that, we present a check for $50,000 to your Texas Restaurant Fund. Thank that you, is Val. incredible. Joe, is it my turn? It is. All right, well, I mean, obviously Tom and Val, we didn't even know each other what, three weeks ago, I think, which really speaks to the crisis we've been thrown into. And, um, you know, on behalf of our members across the state, I think it was the end of 2019. So let's think back just not even three months ago, really. There were 50,000 freestanding units in the state. We employed 1.4 million people. And last year alone contributed 70 billion in sales. And so we've just watched this industry just literally fall off a cliff. And I describe it as just catastrophic. And we know that there's things that we have to do to help support the recovery on the health side, but at the same time, this contribution will help on the economic side. And our independent restaurants are the hearts of all of our communities. And I think what speaks so much to this is your membership is hurting too, because with us not being open on premise, we're clearly not moving a lot of product. And it's the generosity that you could pull together in a time like this to ensure that those restaurants are open, that we do start moving a product again, that we have beer and it's flowing and life is good. Um, it just says so much about, I think, our industry and about your members and the organization um, in which you lead. So I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of us. Um, I agree, we're going to get through this. Um, it's pretty tough right now, but the relief is coming. Money like this is just going to go right into the hands of people who need it most. And so I'm just, on behalf of all of us, incredibly grateful um, for your generosity and just appreciate it so much and look forward to sharing a beer together in one of our local restaurants as soon as we get through this crisis. Cheers. That's a Cheers, deal. that's right. <laughs> so Joe, do we, are we set? I think other than saying a huge thank you again to both of you and all that you've pulled together in such a short period of time, um, I echo Emily's sentiment. We, we know this is going to help immediately restaurants that have been waiting for, for their grants to arrive to get the cash in hand that they need today to keep their employees working and their doors open. So thank you both so very much for pulling together the entire association to do this for us. 
Um, and, and we hope you're the, the leaders of, of many more to come behind it because we know that the, the need is great. That's why we set the $10 million fundraising goal for this. Uh, so thank you all. And uh, I think, Tom, you had some closing remarks to make, so I'll turn it back to you. Well, we thank you all very much. You all are great partners. Uh, your members and our members uh, work hand in hand in this industry. And hopefully we'll continue to do that for another 50 years or 100 years or however long we can do it. But uh, I think that's it for today. And that concludes uh, the, today's presentation. And on behalf of uh, the WBDT, and the Independent Beer Distributors Relief Fund, we thank you all for being here. Please stay tuned to our social media channels. We'll be showcasing how these funds are helping our communities and our partners through the crisis as these funds are distributed. Thank you all and have a great day and we'll see you on the other side. Thank you. Yeah, and I think we will go down as the first virtual check presentation and donation and put it with the other first that we have right now. So next time we'll definitely have a beer in hand when we do this. Yep. So thank you all very much. And thanks to everyone out there and all of the folks in your membership. We are really, really grateful. So thank you. And we will get the stories back of how the money you've just contributed to this fund um, is helping real people and real employees. And so we'll send those stories back to you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.